this is the 2013 Trigano Odyssey and it has a uh, sun canopy on the front as well. This is the bigger of two canopies uh, sun sails that you can get for these models. On here as well we've also got a uh, side awning, a small window at the back and as we come around the back here we've got the, uh, the Trigano box on the back as well. Two windows to the rear and then a window at the side here as well. All closed up at the minute. Let's head inside. So, as we go in, uh, the canvas on these uh, Trigano tents is really, really robust and resilient. It's really, really thick. We've just spent two weeks here in Cornwall uh, with quite some bad rain, to be honest, um, and it's really held up uh, really, really well. Uh, so just showing you around then, uh, we've got two large bedrooms to the rear that are permanently made up. We have just packed down actually, so I'm showing you sort of the, the empty model at the minute. Uh, so there's no bedding or anything on the beds at the present time. But you can sort of see the size of them. Um, and at the back there, you've got zip open windows as well. Um, they need to be zipped from the inside and the outside. So if you've got kids in here, they can't just be opening the windows all night. They actually have to be open from the outside. So that's a really, really uh, thought out feature as well. And we'll zip that back up like that. And then this side, once again, same sort of sized bed again. I'm just getting there. That's it. It's a very... Again with the um, again with the zipped window configuration at the back. In each of the bedroom pods, you've got quite a nice little uh, opening that just opens up into the middle. And if you just look at the rail here. This is actually a, um, this can actually be used, we use it to dry towels and things like that on it. But it's actually used um, as a wardrobe as well, accessible from the two bedrooms as you can see. This pod here on the inside has also got a zip on it. Uh, it just leads down into the middle of the trailer there. The one thing I do like about this is all the bedroom pods are removable, everything's washable. Um, so these can all be taken out quite, quite easily. Um, and washed really really nice uh, thick mattresses with a couple of uh, pockets as well but these are really nice thick mattresses and we've got a um, mattress protector on each of them as well on top of that as you can see that's just the lining under there so I'm gonna lift this up so under one of the beds you've got a massive amount of storage space so as I say We've just packed up from being in Cornwall for two weeks, so uh, in the back of here we've got heaters, griddles, uh, cookers, uh, sides off the um, off the trailer tent as well where the annex is. Uh, we've got all of our kitchen stuff, bowls, we've got fold up units, we've got wardrobes, airers, kitchens, uh, blow up sofas, um, pretty much everything. So the nice thing about this model is you can literally, uh, you can literally pack it up and leave it. And then when you're ready, just hook up and you're ready to go again, which is uh, what's really, really desirable and nice about this model. So coming back out, space-wise, uh, you've got a fair amount of space at the front here, which is fantastic, a really good amount of space. Um, we have bought the camper mat for it, which just goes on the inside. Otherwise, you'll just end up with, uh, with an awful skin-coloured ground sheet, which... Uh, isn't particularly great so we we bought the camper mat to go in here as well uh, it fits quite nicely to be fair um, as we said earlier there's a window here this is um, this is literally just uh, a canvas on the outside and that just popped open um, really lets a lot of air in this is one of the features I really really like so on the door section at the front here you've got this bar and one of the great things that I really really like is the zip Sorry, the zip configurations are really, really good because uh, you've got zips all over that do all types of things. So that's really, really good as well. So you can have a half door, lets loads and loads of fresh air in. Um, 
there as well um, fantastic for cooking as well so this is actually the um, the kitchenless model if you like we opted for the model without the kitchen purely because the kitchen sits usually along this wall and um, takes up a lot of space and to be honest you don't want to be cooking a fry up or whatever in, in here um, it's stinking all of your canvas and your bedding and everything else out so uh, we we got the we got the actual sun canopy here which is a lot lot better and we just uh, set a camp kitchen up outside here um, which is great these are all supported by bars as well and then they're tensioned on the straps um, so that's quite nice uh, the zips are all really 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 you can probably see the sort of uh, quality that the zips are um, opening and closing all the time they do take a real hammer in to be fair so um yeah definitely uh, definitely good zips as well the other thing i like about this as well is the um depending on what what, what year you get um if we just zip this door back up i'll just show you this as well depending on what year you actually get you can actually you've got zip curtains uh that'll unzip in three places so you can zip there and then just below that you've got a full size door there as well which is really nice uh three glass tiers and if you have a look just there you can see that you can actually if your zips are in the right configuration roll the door up halfway or full way um or all the way up if you want to as well uh nice clear plastic great fun and night when you sort of sat uh, sat outside having a beer and then really really easy to close your tent down for the evening as well so uh, let's talk about poles so pole wise you've got one two three poles three poles at the front there you'll have this pole that runs across the middle section here which I actually didn't put up right because it should have gone through this hole here um, in order to allow I think is also a great feature they actually have a sun canopy on them as well uh, so that opens up onto a real thick uh, a real thick see-through material there so you can actually sit in stargaze on a night which we have done a couple of times um, but I actually forgot to run the bar through the middle so we couldn't open it all the way up this time um, you've got a fourth bar that runs across the middle here to there that just connects onto the front of the trailer and then finally you've got one two bars so you've got five bars in total um for for this for the for the basic setup um which makes it really really easy to set up we set this up in the wind and i think we were about 25 minutes setting setting it up um we did buy the additional annex to go on it as well because we wanted the extra bedroom we didn't want to be making up beds every night so uh, I've got two kids, one sleeps in there, one sleeps in there, and then myself and uh, my beloved, we both sleep in here. So this is also a really good size uh, annex. Uh, as you can see, nice, we've, uh, we've just bought the Van Gogh Comfort 10 uh, mat, which fits perfectly in here. Um, it's ideal to be honest. Um, and again, you've got the zip open window, but again,